In Greek, the word polyspast means a mechanism consisting of multiple blocks. A block and tackle system allows gaining a significant mechanical advantage, which is clearly due to an equivalent loss in distance. Here's the simplest block and tackle construction. It consists of two blocks, the upper and the lower ones. A rope has been threaded through them. We pull at the rope and raise the load. The upper block is fixed. Its purpose is to make the pulling convenient. It provides no mechanical advantage. The lower one, however, is movable and it does provide such an advantage. Let's have a look at the dynamometers. The load's weight equals 8 units and the force of pulling is slightly over 4 units. So, the mechanical advantage is almost 2 units. But in theory, if the block and the rope were weightless and there were no friction, the advantage would be precisely double. Let us explain how this advantage emerges. The load's weight is marked as F. This weight is held with two ropes, the right and the left ones, so the force is divided between the ropes and equals half F. The right rope is threaded through the fixed block so the forces on it equilibrate as half F each. This means that a rope in a block and tackle moves with a half F force. This is how we get a double mechanical advantage. Let us now calculate the distance loss. Suppose the load moves up to height A. For this we need to choose two stretches of rope with length A each. The 2A rope moves over the fixed block and a pulling hand covers the 2A distance, so we have a double loss in distance. Here's another variation of block and tackle construction. It consists of two movable and two fixed blocks, which are paired up. The rope is threaded through the movable and the fixed blocks in turn, and when we pull at it, the movable ones go up simultaneously. What mechanical advantage does this block and tackle provide? The weight of the load is equally distributed over all the four ropes, so we get a four times advantage in force. If we add another pair of blocks, the weight will be distributed over six ropes and the mechanical advantage will rise to six times. Generally, in this type of block and tackle construction, the mechanical advantage always equals the number of blocks. In this block and tackle construction, the mechanical advantage equals four. Let us now demonstrate that the distance loss also equals 4. To raise the load to distance A, we have to select 4 stretches of a rope with length A each. A 4A length rope is pulled up over the fixed block and a hand covers the distance of 4A, thus making the distance loss equal 4. Here's another block and tackle construction which consists of 1 fixed and 3 movable blocks, which are connected successively. We are pulling at the rope and it raises the first movable block, which is pulling at the next rope and raises the second block. In the same manner, it is pulling at the third one on which the load is hanging. The lower the block is situated, the slower its movement is. Please note what long distance a hand has to cover to raise the load to quite a short distance. So the distance loss in this case is quite considerable even though it allows a noticeable mechanical advantage. Let us calculate mechanical advantage for this type of block and tackle construction. The load is pulling the lower block down with force F. This force is divided equally between two ropes and equals half F for each rope. On the next block, half F is leveraged by two quarter Fs, and on the next one, quarter F is leveraged by two eighths Fs. This force is transmitted through the rope over the fixed block, so that an equal F divided by eight force is applied to the loose end of the rope. The mechanical advantage equals two on each level. Thus, the three level advantage equals two to the power of three, which is eight. For four levels, the mechanical advantage would equal 16 for five levels, 32, and so on. As to why distance loss in this construction also equals 8, 
try to figure this out by yourself.